Hello, everyone. My name is Leanne Lyon. I'm so excited to be here today with this great group of entrepreneurial minded people willing to and wanting to grow their business, but maybe not wanting to become experts in social media or marketing. In fact, I know we have a marketing expert on the line here today. I'm so blessed to have you here. Thank you for chiming in here. We have a lot of other people that really never ever want to have to create a post ever in their lives. And this, um, this what we're gonna be showing today is one way that, you, that can help you. Now that's not to say you don't need marketing professionals. We do. In fact, we really want them to be showing up and um, giving us really personalized technical things. But marketing is more than just always selling ourselves. Can you agree? If I just say, buy from me, buy from me, buy from me, buy from me, it gets a little old. So we don't wanna do that. What we wanna do is we wanna also give value to other people. Um, I'm a member of BNI and you can't, Bo, I'm gonna ask you to mute, please. Um, in BNI, we have our, it's one of our philosophies, givers gain. And in givers gain, what we say is that um, the one you give and you give quality referrals to other people, that's when you're also going to receive. So that's the same idea that we've got here with now site marketing. So I'm going to jump into a quick slideshow. Here's kind of the schedule for what we're going to do today. I'm going to do a quick overview of the whole marketing program. I'm going to give you a little peek into my back office and how things run. I know one of our guests here today said, you know, I really want to see what happens, how it works. We're going to do that. And I'm going to do it very quickly, very efficiently. And then we're going to jump into setting up your first website. Cause when you go with this program, you get, a website created for you automatically, quickly by artificial intelligence, but it doesn't mean it's exactly what you want. So we're gonna make some adjustments to that so that you can adjust it to the, what you do need for your business. Again, I'm gonna ask people to please stay on mute if possible um, during this presentation and I will get to sharing my screen. <laughs> and for those of you who know me from BNI, this is always an exciting challenge. But here we go. I'm going to go to here, advanced, and cross our fingers. And it did not work. <laughs> Please, everybody, bear with me. I just had this figured out. I was certain of it. All right, here we go. So what we have here is my full screen. So we're just going to go with that today. Um, rather than screen around with getting the partial screen. Uh, we are excited that you're here because now site marketing, um, and we're part of the gem junkies group of now site marketing has a real commitment to one particular group of business owners. There's a lot of businesses in the world, a lot of big businesses in the world. There's a lot more small businesses in the world and our founder, our CEO, Justin Balabo, I still struggle, um, is committed to helping those small business owners really be successful. And he knows, what's it? Go ahead, say it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, but he's really committed to making small business owners successful. And so we, um, you know, and, he, and he's, been, he's been successful himself. And I'm going to ask you to please mute if you are not. Um, Robert, I'm going to make you a co-host so you can help me with that. So Robert, you are now co-host. Thank you so much. Um, but he's had success in his own right. He's been a very successful entrepreneur in Canada. He's created and sold two tech companies at before the age of now 40, when he started this company a couple of years ago, he said, look, we need to make this work for small business owners because big businesses are making money, but the small businesses are generally not, not the way that they should. So what are the differences between big and small businesses? Well, big businesses often have more contacts. If you had more contacts, would that lead to more customers for you? Well, the obvious answer is yes. And yet most of us in small businesses, whether we're involved in network marketing or trying to do it ourselves online, which is often confusing and time consuming, what we're doing is really doing sales, just sales, 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 buy from me, buy from me, sales. 
Sales are transactional, they're happening today. But what bigger businesses are doing is that they're doing sales. There's people in this Apple store here doing sales, but they're also doing marketing. They're branding themselves. An example I think of is a, a commercial from so long ago, probably two decades ago, a McDonald's commercial of a little girl and she's handing her little brother his first McDonald's French fry. I have goosebumps thinking about it now. It was 20 years ago, but that was marketing. McDonald's, where families come to, whatever, <laughs> where families come together and eat fast food, but that's marketing. And it gave me a warm, fuzzy feeling. And marketing is, you know, really drawing people to you and making them want to be part of what you are and what you offer. So we don't just want sales today. We really want sales today but we don't just want sales today. We also want sales tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. And that means that we have to be always out there and marketing our businesses. So now we have social media. Digital marketing has leveled the playing field and we can market like the large companies. So let's go back six months ago when COVID started. And I'm like, okay, I'm at home. I don't have to drive to all these meetings. I can just be online all the time. And I didn't do it. And you guys, I have a background in this stuff. I really actually know a lot of this stuff, but even I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to get on. And quite frankly, you know, how much money are you going to spend on those ads? Twitter wants you to spend money. Facebook wants you to spend money. Instagram wants you to spend money. And everybody wants you to spend money per day. $5 per day on Facebook is $35 per week. That's $70 every two weeks. It's $140 every month just to get $5 worth of people to see you. And on Facebook, how many is that really? And then even if you do get them, do you really get them? Or are they just maybe Facebook people, followers that you don't even really have a way to connect with them genuinely again? So the Now Site platform is what we've been using to help fix this. It's the first all-in-one digital marketing platform powered by artificial intelligence to market like, yay, the big companies. So I'm going to walk you through this. The platform attracts, remarkets to prospects who visited your website. This is what's called retargeting. You probably heard of it, but you didn't have access to it because really retargeting has always only been for the big guys. But a few months ago, a now site was given the ability to offer retargeting ads as part, part of, part of our platform. That's so big because retargeting ads means that when somebody visits you, visits your website once, it goes and follows them and reminds them to come back to you again. So they visit your site, they leave your site, maybe the kids get their attention, maybe the dog kicks over their coffee cup, who knows what. The client visits another site, they go away, they check their email, but then they see your ad, your ad. That's retargeting. Can you imagine how powerful that is? And if they see it once, twice, they return to your site and that's how they get back in touch with you. So the now site platform does a whole lot more than just that, but the retargeting thing is big and it's included. I'm so excited about that, included. So when we do social marketing, we're generally marketing to people that we know, people who we know, we love, we trust, and they know, love, and trust us more or less, right, as well. Right now we're reaching them on Facebook, on, Insta on um, LinkedIn, okay. and on Twitter. Um, and right now we can put these ads out. Like I said, you can pay per ad, right? Well, right now through this program, you can do the same thing. You can put these ads out on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on, on Twitter, but not necessarily, but not be paying per ad. So when people click on this, my slides, I feel like are, are a little out of, the, or, uh, they can actually go in and use something called ad pins. Now, just to reverse, ad pins basically is going to, if we're going to show it here, I'm just going to go ahead to the next slide. So it attracts, 
using proximity marketing. So I had a friend just now, just a few minutes ago, I was talking to her and she's like, yeah, we're going to have this lunch and it's going to be in this one area and we want to attract this one type of people. And I'm like, we have to talk because <laughs> we've got this great program. In the example on these slides though, when somebody taps on one of these ads in Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, they can open up into an, um, an actual ad. I'll show it to you in a minute, but this is how it's created. You on the user side, create an ad very quickly, very easily. They show it on a phone right here, right? Where you just enter a little bit of information, you add in some pictures and they're showing a real estate picture. If you look at the, the photo here, it's of a house. Then the realtor gets to pick the, the location that they want to advertise to. So if I'm advertising for a lunch for this person's lunch, I'm probably not going to advertise in Duluth or Las Vegas. Nobody's coming to lunch from there, but they would come within a five mile radius of where this lunch is going to get held, especially if it's free, right? Um, for a realtor, they have the same idea. They're saying, you know what? I know that most of the people who would be interested in this particular home is going to come from a you know, a range of areas. So they can select that area down to the very targeted geography that matters. And that's what they're doing right here. They can slide it back and forth. The target coverage they say is half a, half a mile to six miles. I know it can go up to like 20 miles or even further. I think I've heard hundreds of miles, but you know, depending on what you're doing, again, nobody's going to drive a hundred miles even for a free lunch. Um, but for a, a, a home, who knows? Then they really get the power of it is right here, the advanced ad targeting. Now you can pick who is going to come to uh, and see this ad. Now, if you're selling a million dollar house, like was in the photo, probably not selling to 18 year olds, not so much. So you'd pick the age group that you want to target. If you're selling uh, skincare products, you're probably not gonna be selling to the men. So even though some men will buy them, 90% of the people who buy them are going to be women. So you'd target the women. And then you can add in keywords. I think most people understand the concept of keywords, but the keywords are basically targeted words or groups of words that are going to attract the specific types of people that you're looking for. Um, for instance, if your house happened to be on a golf course, you might put the word golfer in there that you'd want to attract people who are golfers who could be really attracted to that particular home. If it happens to be near a runway, you might put down pilot. Okay, so then you start broadcasting. This is where it gets really cool. When you've created the ad and it takes minutes and you've picked your geo-targeting and that's easy, you hit start and now your ad appears in social media and general apps on lots of devices, iPhones, Androids, tablets, laptops, desktops, but even better, look where it shows up. Facebook, Instagram, AOL, Yahoo, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Bloomberg, Fox. There are so many places this can pop up not just in social media. They go to check their email, there's your ad. They go check something on Google, there's your ad. These ads will pop up. And now site actually buys not, you know, a thousand of these, but a hundred million of these ads per month and then resells them to us. Now I had a manufacturing company and I was sold a program like this or I was tried, they tried to sell it to me, $400 a month on a two year contract. Anybody do the math on that real quick? Cause that's a lot of money <laughs> that they wanted me to commit to upfront, not even knowing how many people would see my ads or respond to my ads or anything. What I love about what NowSite has done is this is actually right now the only add on, ha, huh? excuse the pun, only add on product to our basic um, service. But this is available to us for a very, very low cost. And I'll show that to you in a minute. So then the ad appears on somebody's iPhone, say this young woman sees it and she's like, ooh, that's a pretty house. I'd like to check that out. And she goes and clicks on the ad. The ad now brings her to a full landing page. And here's an example of what a landing page could look like. Hey, Bo, what do you think of that, uh, that logo up there? <laughs> um, 
And so the, the whole page opens up and here's David Poole. I understand he's out of Texas and he's like, hey, I can show you more about this house. There's interior pictures. Hey, I'll show you a video. But if you'd like to see it, go ahead and give me your name, phone number and email address. And so people will. Now, even if the woman is like, well, that's too big a house for me, but you know, this guy looks trustworthy or, hey, he's a realtor. I don't know any realtors. I want to keep in touch with him and he'll keep in touch with her because of this ad and because of this opportunity. So the now site platform then puts that person, that young woman's information into what's called a CRM, customer re, uh, relationship management system or a database. Let's just call it a database. Um, people who are still using notebooks or index cards or business cards, um, Excel spreadsheets for their databases, please share this with them. <laughs> they really need this because <laughs> none of those things are actually helping them grow their businesses. But when we can share this technology with them, they can grow their CRMs literally while they sleep. I wake up in the morning and I've got new people connected to me because of the, thing, the articles that I'm posting. I'm so excited about this. So it goes into the CRM. Here's that woman's information. And then uh, David Poole, the realtor, would be able to connect and track what's going on with her. Has there been a follow-up? Um, when? What's her phone number? And actually, it's pretty cool that they will actually, um, they meaning now site, actually goes out and mines the internet for as much information as they can get on a person. Because she didn't submit her photo with her information, but based on her email address, we were able to find a photo, a phone number, all sorts of information, maybe where she lives, um, things like that, which can really help you in your marketing to know who is being attracted to your business and then know how to market to those people. Then you set up email campaigns. Yay, everybody loves to write email campaigns. Well, News Today is the very first done for you uh, that's D for you, Susan, just in case you need to know. Um, <laughs> email campaigns, those are being launched right now. Now, if you have your own email campaigns, that's great. You can put these in. And for anybody here that's on a team, you can put your email campaign in and then share it with your team so they don't have to start from scratch. So your email campaign, there's two parts to it, really. One is the artificial intelligence system in this whole thing, which puts it all together. The other is where you put together what you're sharing with people so that they hear from you more directly, perhaps occasionally about your offerings. But you also wanna put in stuff that's entertaining, inspirational, educational, and so forth. So you build an email campaign. And with that building of an email campaign, you build a relationship. The relationship is what gets you to those people to be somebody that they trust, somebody that maybe they really like. And when they need what you offer, you're going to be the person that they think of. You win a customer. So all of this we put together into all these different systems. And now we've got the email campaigns, we've got the CRM, we've got all sorts of stuff put together. And it's all organized into this nice, simple database. So now you want to measure your results. Analytics are included, not only Google Analytics, but we're also including Facebook Analytics and so much more now. So you're able to actually track what you and even your teammates are doing if you're doing this as a team. So let's talk a little bit about the artificial intelligence. This is simply brilliant. Right now, you may be using some of the things that you see on here for social media. Maybe you are scheduling out your social media with Hootsuite, but you're having to go find it first. Maybe you're using WordPress or ClickFunnels for your website. Okay, how much are you paying for that? If you have a blog, maybe you're on Blogger, maybe you have a Word, WordPress blog, but again, it's an additional cost per month. I know even my WordPress blog was like $15 a month times 12, that adds up over time. Um, SEO is with Google and then email is done with MailChimp or Salesforce or HubSpot. HubSpot, as I was paying up to $800 <coughs> per month um, to have HubSpot at one point. 
crazy expensive. Retargeting ads, we've already talked about the expensive ads. You can only get retargeting ads through Google. Um, CRM, now you have to, and again, maybe HubSpot, maybe Salesforce, you're paying for that. Um, all of this added up ends up being a pretty big chunk of money. This is why small businesses have a hard time with it. On top of it, of all of that, <laughs> it's not integrated. You have to go to this dashboard and that dashboard and open up this and do that and move things over. It's not easy. And this is really why I got to the point six months ago where I was struggling, even though I knew this stuff well, I just struggled because I just, ah. Uh, but when somebody offered to show this to me and I saw that everything could be put together, I immediately canceled many of the things that you see on the screen here, reduced it all to one cost, one product, and that's now site marketing. So with now site marketing, I do one click and I have it posted to social media. It also goes right onto my website. One click, a second click, and it goes onto my blog, which improves my SEO, search engine optimization. You don't even have to know what that means. It just works. Email, third click, and, the, and goes into retargeting ads. All of this is just running, and you don't have to have a PhD in computer science. Analytics and CRM, all of this is showing right here. Right now it says Royalty AI. They did a rebrand in uh, July. So I'm using some old slides here, I admit to it. But all of this is done all with the same one platform, all with the same back office, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and all for $87 a month. Now I've been in sales for a long time. I used to sell for Yellow Pages. And when you talk to a lawyer, you never talk about the little ad. You always talk about the double full size page ad always, maybe the triple, maybe the quadruple, because you know, we always go for the biggest ad first, not here. Quite frankly, we're really excited when people join at $87 a month. And with that, they get three websites, three businesses or three aspects to their business that they can immediately start using the power of artificial intelligence to help them market. If they get to the point that they're really good with that and they want to expand into five or 10 businesses, that's great, they can move up. But everybody starts with three. Three is enough to get set up. <laughs> Why start with the biggest package and try to set up 10 things all at once when you're brand new? So we really are excited when people start at $87 a month and it includes the three artificial intelligence marketing campaigns, unlimited websites. You're gonna see how many I have, it's crazy. Unlimited social media marketing, 10,000 marketing emails, and they're very generous with that. Search engine optimization, file sharing and analytics, and retargeting ads up to 250 website visitors. Wow, all included. The only add on that we have at the moment is the ad pin for $50. Remember that's that $400 product I told you about before? $50 gives you up to 10,000 impressions. And then they even let you split that up into two groups. So you can do two $5,000 or 5,000 impressions, two separate ads, do an AB marketing on it, see which is working. It's pretty cool. So the now site platform truly is the first all in one digital marketing platform powered by artificial intelligence and crazy good um, support, Zoom support, like click on a button, Zoom support pops up. Hey, share me, share your screen. Let's take a look at it. It's really great. You don't have to wait till two o'clock on Tuesday, but you're welcome to be here anyway. Um, we also have meetings now pretty much every day of the week. For those of us who really like to present, like to share, believe in givers gain, we want to do this. But if this isn't for you or what your business is doing, this presenting thing, don't worry about it. You don't have to. Just use the product for your business, grow your business. That's all we want. 80% of people, maybe more, that's all they do. Buy the product, use it for your business. Do not become an outside presenter. Some of us really want to, and we also know that there's a, an advantage to doing so because we can actually pay for this platform for free just by sharing it with three other businesses. So today, you're a hunter. You're looking for that sale today. You're looking for that sale today. Tomorrow, you can be a marketing machine harvesting from your database of products. So this is how you get your program for free. 
just quickly showing you. One, cover the cost of your own now site platform. Why not? You probably, you know, if you're excited about this, you probably know three other businesses or people, nonprofits, whatever, that could use this product. That $87 wouldn't be a stretch for them. Share it with them and that will more than cover the cost of your platform. If you want, you can take that a little bit further and actually earn a substantial income by referring the NowSite platform to other people. In that case, you might end up you know, doing a presentation or two, or at least bringing people to presentations like this one. Um, I'm going to stop there for now because I want to really jump into sharing my screen of um, what this looks like. So we're going to stop the share and jump into. Um, I have a couple comments here. If you haven't seen them, Luke says, I can speak from experience that setting up retargeting ads yourself without a platform like this is very frustrating. Thank you for sharing that. And Bo, yeah, I expected that. Looking good, EXP, Bo's with EXP. So am I. Um, okay, so we are moving on to a new share and this is my back office. This one I know will work, boom. <laughs> so here we are in my back office. I'm going to show you really quickly how quick and easy this is. This is, you're going to see a lot of things. We're recording this, remember. We're recording this. Go back and watch the recording. Hit stop. You can think through this stuff, but it's really actually amazingly fast and efficient. I have actually moved up. I have more than five businesses. I now have five websites that I have artificial intelligence running to help me find new customers. These are the suggested posts that pop up for me every single day. I get two suggested posts for every one of my five businesses. So for JoyMinder Consulting, the AI brain went out and said, hey, this is probably a good post for you. It's an 82% match, need a business idea. Here are 55. Well, my consulting business is all about helping people find new businesses. That's a great post for me. How about five side hustles you can do from home? Um, money tips, absolutely, another great post. Join Minder Travel, real estate investing trips. Hmm, what does that have to do with travel? You know what? A lot of people who travel are also interested in investing and in, in things like this. They have the money to travel. Maybe they have a little extra that they want to do some investing, especially real estate investing. So it's with Airbnb and VRBO and all that. So this is a great article to draw in people that are interested in travel. World's best coffee. Hmm. Again, not about coffee. Why are we talking about bees for nutrition? There's a correlation. Let AI do the thinking for us. We don't have to figure this out and we don't have to find these posts. Yay. So unlike what the other, some of those other programs, you have to go find, you have to go research, you have to copy paste or get permission or whatever. This is all done for you. Um, World Best Coffee, again, a workout article. Ride Share, uh, How to Work from Home, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide. So we can keep flying through here. I'm gonna pick one of these and post. I'm actually gonna go back to the consulting one at the beginning. Need a business, actually the second one I liked too. Uh, five side hustles you can do from home. I'm going back. So we're gonna post this one. I click on post. First thing that pops up, you can see this bright orange screen. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Would you like to add this content to your website's blog? Uh, okay, repeat after me. The answer is always yes, yes. You don't have to know why, just yes. The reason why is SEO. Like I said, you don't have to know that, just say yes, so yes. Always add it to your blog and it says your blog is done. So what does that mean? That was one of the questions that somebody asked me before we started. So I'm going to show you what that means. If I can find my link here above. Okay, I'm gonna type it in over here. So this is my joy. Minder Consulting website. And I just said yes to that article. Way at the bottom of my screen, there it is, 55 business ideas. That's the thing I just posted in one click. I didn't copy, I didn't paste, I said yes. And there it is, that's good for SEO because now this website is connected to a lot more. I'm telling you more than you need to know. 
back to the thing. My blog is done. Awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna post it on social media. So uh, let's see, set custom URL. It says it's optional, but I don't trust things that look like this. So I'm going to change it to 55 business ideas. And I'm gonna paste it on Facebook. Boom, post. Now what just happened is you see something, but I'm gonna show you what actually showed up on my screen, which is this. And it's my Facebook pop-up. So on my Facebook pop-up has shown up and it says, okay, share to your newsfeed or story. Do I wanna share it on my personal Facebook post? Sometimes I do. And I've gotten some really great feedback when I do. People are like, oh, that's a great story. Thanks for sharing. Um, but I'm gonna actually post this on a page that I manage, which is my uh, Leanne Lyon Public, which is my, my business page. 55 business ideas. Who is up for some fresh ideas? Here's a bunch. Okay, that took me 15 seconds. And I am posting on Facebook. That window disappears and we're back. I'm gonna stop that share. We're going to go back to, ooh, unless Zoom didn't update, I didn't know about. Back to here. And it's asked me, have I succeeded with publishing my post? Yes, I did. Thank you for asking. If I was gonna post also to LinkedIn, also to Twitter, those would show up sub uh, sequentially. But in this case, I just did one. Social marketing, done. Love this. Great. Third click, remember three click marketing, third click. Would you like to email this content to your followers? Let's see, 55 business ideas. I always think th think a little bit more on this. It's not an automatic yes. Several times a week, I do want to email things out. And in this case, I do think I really want to get this out to the people who are interested in my business. So I'm gonna say yes. And this is using one of the two email campaigns out there. This is going in an automated email that's gonna show up and say, hey, I thought you might be interested in this article. And the, the title, the photo, the information is all gonna pop up to those people who have already opted in to be on my emailing list. And it's done. That's it, one click, done. Excellent, pat on the back. Build your audience, three minutes. Just take three more minutes. I won't actually take your three minutes, but um, to spend adding new friends, adding new followers. I appreciate that they remind me to do this. I get to this reminder five times because I'm promoting five businesses. But this whole time, it's five minutes per business that I'm promoting. In 30 minutes, I'm done. If you have one business and you're doing one site, it's five minutes a day to do this type of instant marketing for your business. So that's the back office. And now um, I am going to go, it's 2.30ish, uh, um, to what I said we're gonna do a training on today. But before I do, do you have any quick questions about what you've seen? And then we're gonna jump into the training. So if anybody wants to come off of mute or I'll try to check the chat box, um, you're welcome at this time. Did I answer your question? about where things go, how things work. Where, uh, oh, here, I didn't show you this, I can do it. Um, let's go to Facebook, because I posted that thing on Facebook, right? So people are like, okay, I wanna see it on Facebook. How does, how does it show up on Facebook? So I can go to Facebook pages and see lots of other stuff that pops up too, of course. Um, I'm going to go this time to right here, and we're gonna view this as a visitor. And that post that I just posted, you saw me post it, who is up for some fresh ideas, here's a bunch, it posts right there, right on my Facebook page. If I click on it, because it recognizes me, it's gonna, it, well, it, it actually pops up here. It gives me the headline, it gives me a little bit of information, it shows me the beautiful picture again, and then it asks me to opt in. Hey, if you wanna read the whole article, opt in here. This is how you grow your CRM. This is how you grow your customer base. 
a lot of people are willing, if they're this far into it, they've clicked on it, they're willing to give you their name and email address. Now, if you want to, you can ask them to put in their eye color and what city they live in and their phone number and how many kids they've had or want to have and all sorts of reasons, then you won't get anybody entering into your CRM. Keep it easy, keep it simple, and just ask for things that people typically will, you know, when they go to a, uh, uh, any other place, they're usually willing to give their email addresses out. So question, are the recordings on the Facebook group? Um, yes and no. Um, I have a, but thank you for asking, I have a YouTube channel and it is right here. You can look it up by Joy Minder Consulting. And I put these into um, a playlist um, where you can find now site training videos and uh, uh, business and business tool reviews. I appreciate you going there if you will. I'll put it into the chat. Um, and be a subscriber would be great because I'm trying to build up this list so that I can change the ugly URL. <laughs> Thanks so much for asking. But yes, you can, you're always welcome to come here. Uh, change. Yeah, and I'm here too, just in case if, if you needed any more testimonials, okay. anything. You know, actually, this would be a great time for you to jump in, share. And also, Susan is here. I'd like to invite Susan as well to, Susan, did you want to share quickly your story with NowSight before we get into the training? Sure. Wait a minute. Great, great job. Um, Thank you. I, you mean when I, how I started, what I chose to? Yeah. To do, okay. Well, I, um, I own another business, an energy business, and I met a man whose name is Richard, uh, quite, quite uh, coincidentally, and he shared with me uh, a way that I could get more customers. And I am, my background is that I am a lawyer, so I'm not technically inclined. I know what I know enough uh, to get by, but I was fascinated with this. So I started using it and I realized it was so powerful that I wanted to share it with other people. And that's what I started doing uh, with, with other lawyers, with insurance people, with realtors, with beauty parlor. I mean, any small business needs this. And this morning I happened to be listening, uh, uh, watching a Zoom or participating in a Zoom call with about, hmm, 10 uh, small business, women business owners. And every one of them, uh, I ask about what they use for marketing. Every one of them just used pieces of this. Nothing was integrated. Um, I thought it made me so appreciate NowSight. And I'm so excited to um, uh, get to know you, Leanne, and I'm so proud of what you're doing. So anybody listening to this, I encourage you to uh, subscribe to this service and give it at least 90, day, 90 days to six months because it takes time to develop it. And most of all, commit to learning because uh, it does take learning, even, even if you're a tech savvy person. Yep. So uh, congratulations to, to you, Leanne. Great presentation. And Susan, as an attorney, can you advise us, you know, how long a contract are we signing up for here when we begin? Well, wonderful thing about this is there's no contracts. Right. The good thing about it and the bad thing is there's no contracts. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Right. Because when people get frustrated, they can just quit. But if they hang in there and commit to learning, uh, they're going to experience some amazing results. Right. And if they're one of the people who want to build the business uh, to share it with other people, the income is fantastic. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Susan. And speaking right. of building, we have a builder here. Ms. Lois Kofi is a Jade consultant with NowSite already in like no time. And you really worked hard at gaining that. I know you did. You, you put in blood, sweat, and tears for months on end. Is that true? <laughs> Yeah. No, not at all. Um, I know it's funny. I I didn't expect that it happened sort of, I, I can't say by accident because obviously nothing happens by accident. Uh, however, I wasn't looking for that, that level, we'll call it of affiliate income, you know, for really, I signed up in April, 
Um, I had a death in the family, so I, I put it on the back burner, but I did. Even with a death in the family, kids home from school, full-time, husband home, we're all home, right? Because that's what's going on in the world. I still got it for free. So I had referred three people just, just because that's what I do. I network, I talk to people, how's business, how is life? And the three people right away signed up. And then in June, I had, and I don't think she's here, Kathy Barrow from Mexico had been shut down because of the pandemic and the quarantine in Mexico. And she was beside herself, had no business, no income, had never started another business before because she's a musician and a travel agent. So travel <laughs> and a musician shut down. And so she actually um, signed up to use now site to start marketing and she blew up on Facebook, got a ton of business for both her musician business, which, oh, by the way, she never did online before. Okay. That's a huge testimonial. And then her travel agency business is now skyrocketed because of this service. Okay. So if you know anyone that has a travel business, this could save their life potentially and make their business much more relevant. And then she decided with, with my help, I did become her coach. Um, she started a virtual assistant business using now site to help other people blow up their social media. Yep. And so I got to thinking, I'm like, all of a sudden she signed up eight customers. She's blowing up her two other quote unquote, maybe traditional businesses or musician. And, and a lot of it's because of the system. I was like slapping myself silly. I'm like, dude, I got to start sharing this and creating some more results for myself. And so I started using it, not just for my podcast, because I started using it for my podcast, which helped me build a funnel and a following and a nurture campaign series, email series. Then um, I started sharing with Leanne and, and a bunch of people in network marketing, a bunch of coaches, a bunch of podcasters, um, just again, organically. And we would do these webinars because that's what saves everybody time. Um, I didn't have a lot of extra time. So these webinars, we brought people, they said, oh my God, I need this. Eight out of 10 people I talk to you guys now need, deserve, got to have this. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sales coach, right? And so, I, and I'm building a multi-million dollar business. Most of my millionaire coaches, they're using Infusionsoft, otherwise known as Confusionsoft, ClickFunnels, which neither one of them guys you can do on your own. I had to hire a virtual assistant to help me understand the system, but then I'm like, I don't even want to understand it. I don't want to do any of this. So I gave it over to an assistant and most people can't afford that. And I was spending about $2,500 a month on all of the things that this system does for $87 a month. So you can imagine it's pretty easy <laughs> for me to refer it. And because of all of the network marketers, I know all the coaches I know, and oh, by the way, marketing people, marketing people, I just signed up another web designer today because they're seeing this as another tool for their clients, another way way to keep people in the funnel because if you can't afford a web designer right now or a landing page which usually costs a thousand bucks a pop right they can refer this out and still keep a customer and so it's been so duplicatable I have so many people now and as a part of our affiliate group that get it for free it's not sales it's just hey here's something that can help you and I happened to make eleven hundred dollars in my first month of really sharing it and then you know a nice four thousand dollars in the second month of sharing it. And so for me, because I like multiple streams of income and a lot of people need another stream of income right now, there's never been anything easier than this. And both Leanne and I know, we thought we had it easy when we sold coffee. Um, this is easier. Yeah. And maybe just as addictive. Yeah, maybe just as addictive. I love it. I actually talked with the marketing agency that's using this too. They are selling the service just of posting this content that is being automatically generated for them for $300 a month per customer. I said, well, how many hours a month is that taking? They said 12 per month, not per week, 12 hours per month. They're charging $300 per month just to sign them up. So they're, they're netting over $200 a month and um, yeah. And, and, and being able to just use this program on behalf of their customers charging and making that much extra money, $12 or 12 hours per month. I do want to get to the training, but I just had a quick request and I think it's a good one. Um, on the cost savings of the funnel designer. Yes, please. Tammy, come on off mute. 
Hey, um, Jillian, just backing up what Lois said, um, I am a, a, a funnel designer with ClickFunnels and Kartra, and I charge about for a basic web page or a basic funnel, I charge $500 a page um, to build it out. And uh, so most funnels are gonna take several pages. So it, it is expensive. ClickFunnels cost $97 on the base and it does not do the social media or anything. It's just the landing page builder. Um, and then you have to get an email service on top of that. Uh, Kartra is the same way. It's like $99 uh, for the base basics um so i can definitely tell you that and also I, I work with a lot of social media um people out there and they charge anywhere from six to eight hundred dollars just to start just to do the auto posting that you get in this system so just a <laughs> quick quick uh, cost savings there yeah, i mean that was freaking amazing can you create a youtube video testimonial <laughs> and that you can totally put your stuff in the in the notes and we'll we'll blow that up for you because that that needs to be heard hashtag click funnels hashtag expensive yeah yeah, yeah it's actually definitely out expensive. of this recording as well <laughs> which is amazing thank you so much um so i do want to get to the training portion Bo, are you there because i was going to think i'm going to go ahead and use you as an example because we've already seen the XP if you're still there. Yep, I'm here. Great. Would you be willing to share your back office? You have that pulled up right now? Yep, I can do that. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new website really quickly and easily. So I, I'm kind of doing two birds with one stone. First, you get to see starting a brand new landing page slash website. And then second, we're going to walk through adapting it to be more what Bo wants it to be. So Bo is really in charge here. Robert, I want you to say hello here quickly too. Robert is Lois's reason for being here. Robert brought Lois into NowSite, so we're grateful. Um, and he's also an expert with all this. So Robert, at any point, if you wish to um, jump in, you're welcome to um, as well. But Bo, right now you're going to Go ahead and you're going to add a new website. You have two here. And now you're going to start a third website. So go ahead and click on add new. Uh, so everybody, when you sign up for this program, you actually get an, uh, an email, uh, a website created for you. And now Bo's going to create a, sec a third one right now. And it's going to be called house listing. Awesome. He's going to give it a website name. It can be the same name. It could be something different. And then um, English is probably what he's gonna stick with, knowing Bo. Um, now it needs a website URL. Now this is something a little different. When you first create it, it gives you a website URL, basically of your own business name that you put in. This time he's gonna create his own and he's calling it house address. Now watch this, it's gonna give him an error. I know this, it's okay. Go ahead and click your industry. No, it's okay, leave the space there. It's good to learn this way. I want him to do this because I want people to see, even when you think you're making, he didn't know he was making a mistake, but this system will catch you. It will help you. It doesn't just let you make mistakes. So real estate, good idea, Bo. Sounds like a really good category for you. <laughs> Let's do a subcategory. Okay, buy, sell homes, there you go. Click, on, now do you wanna put AI on this? Do you wanna put artificial intelligence? Absolutely. This is his third website, he can do that. So go ahead and hit next. Oh, it actually worked. Wow, see, I'm not always right. Apparently it is, oh, did, maybe you took the space out, but it's letting him create houselisting.com. On the left-hand side now, we have a website that says website builder, edit website, and I'm gonna call it the editing window to the left side here, everything in black. What, Bo, would you click on website settings for me, please, before you click on that? And there it is, houseaddress.now.site. I'm still curious if that's going to save. In the upper right-hand corner, please hit save. Upper right over there, yeah. Yep, subdomain contains illegal characters. Good to know. That's what I kind of ex expected. Put a dash in between house and address there, Bo. And now try save. And there we go. You have a website created. Boom. Now, is this exactly what you want your website to look like, Bo? No, not quite. Okay. Well, let's adjust it a little bit then. So right now, I want you to click on the gear 
way up at the top next to the house. And you're going to upload an image. This is your logo. Your logo is when you're creating these websites, remember you want to brand you. So, you know, in, in this case, he's probably going to be branding his brokerage. Am I right, Bo? You are correct. Oh, gee, it's like I just finished real estate classes or something. <laughs> <laughs> so he is now pulling up his EXP uh, logo. I'm sure, sure he has it here. Uh, so it's fun to see people have on their screens, right? <laughs> EXP logo. Which one do you want to pick? There you go. There it is. He says, okay, he could adjust it here. This is very functional. You are able to make things a little bigger, a little smaller. It's pretty cool. And so there it is. Hit save. Upper right. Yep, there we go. And now we'll go a little, well, there's actually more here. Now, Robert, do you usually stick in the, in the black part here first? I do. I just kind of go down the list. Or do you go right into the editing? It really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. A lot of them, uh, if they're just trying to get something up running, I just go straight into editing and stuff. Okay. There's lots of things in here that you can use and set if you want to kind of at a higher level. Right. So on the left-hand side, if you were to open up each of these things to the left, say the next line right here, social media links. Let's say you have social media links probably a good idea. You would just put these in here and then they will appear in your um, website in the upper right hand corner. Um, if you click on website, if you go down to the, you can close that one. This is stuff you can do a little bit later. I just want people to see it. Um, let's go into the website. Oops, I'm sorry. Click on the house again. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. And again, if you kind of scroll down this list, you'll see the different things that you can set, website settings, um, industry, contact form. I'm gonna show you a little trick I like to do because it helps me organize my websites a little better. Click on website settings and scroll down a little bit further. And you see that there it says add image. I'm gonna have you add an image. Let's pick real estate. And I want you to pick any image that appeals to you. There, that's a great one, select. Now you'll notice that this is not going to appear on his website, you will see it later, but hit okay. And now you're gonna hit select. If he'd scrolled up, you would have seen what he's selecting. It didn't appear anywhere. It does appear later. This is my little magic trick for later. Okay, industry is underneath that. Con um, Contact form, keywords is another area that you will want to get into once you want to start really promoting your site. But we're going to skip over that right now and do a little bit more. Scroll back up to the top. We're going to do more basic editing, editing right now. Click on edit website. And now, um, Bo, in the upper right hand corner, the three little dots next to the pink dot that says Bo, would you mind minimizing your screen just a little bit so we can see more of it? Three, three little dots up to the right. There you go. Uh, no, it must be a little bit further to the right. Oh, there we go. Where it says 100% next to Zoom, tap that a little bit and make it a little smaller so we can see more of the screen. Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. All right, so here we are, and he has tapped on edit. Now he's, what Bo is doing is, Bo, do you love this photo? Um, it's, it's all right. Okay. It, is it the right size? Would you like to look for a different picture? What's your thoughts? Sure. We might as well take a look and see what else there is. Okay. So we're going to click on the photo and click on style. I think we might've gotten out of the editor. Nope. nope we're good. Um, um, section background. Yep. Section background up and change the image. Now, if you wanted to, Bo, you could upload a photo of, say, a, a, a house that you're selling. So you can upload photos or you can use a, a ready-to-go photo in here. And there's a lot of them, really quite a few. So Bo has selected a different photo. And if you wanted to, he could edit this. Yep, 
to a different size, different shape. Let's see how that turns out. There we go. Much bigger for sale. Okay, now on top of it, we, we have house listing, which is the name that he named his page in Shakopee, Minnesota. Bo, do you sell in more places than Shakopee? Yep. Oh, good to know. Okay, go <laughs> ahead and click on content right now. And that is where this information is pulling from, house listing in Shakopee, Minnesota. If you wish, you can just delete the Shakopee part or change it to, you know, Twin Cities or whatever you'd want to. But it's still a little hard to read. So you want to go back into the style now. And maybe house listing isn't exactly what you want to say, but maybe it is. And then um, we can change that later. But you can change it now. House, address. Okay, and then um, section, let's see, on alignment and spacing, go ahead and click on that. This photo right now, I'm just gonna show people, um, has a padding. Padding is like how much of, is above and how much is below right here where the um, heading, is, the header, the, where it says house address. You can make that smaller or bigger if you want to. Um, I do tend to make it smaller on my websites, but it's really a personal choice. It's a personal uh, taste as to whether or not you do that. It's not important to change it. Uh, just showing you where you could. Go down two sections to where it says heading. And here is where you would adjust maybe the size, the font size of that heading, or maybe more importantly, in this case, the color. So you see how the color here is white for the heading? Maybe it would be a little more effective if it were a different color. So click on that. And now you can choose a different color. I'd say that red would make it hard to read too. <laughs> but blue kind of shows up. And then what if you made the font weight bold? Okay, and how about a bigger font size? Drag that little ball over. This is all pretty easy to figure out. You don't really need Honestly, Bo is doing this without, I'm more or less um, just uh, sharing, verbalizing what Bo is doing here on his own. Bo, you must be a web designer. Is that true? <laughs> Far from it. Oh, okay, just checking. So anyway, you can keep playing with these kind of things. I do want to scroll down to some other important parts. So right now we're just going to hit save because there's some other critical areas. You can hit OK as well. Um, and then scroll down to the next section. So let's take a quick scroll down actually on the, on the left hand side, excuse me, right hand side. The next section is uh, kind of a heading. And this is where you could put some information maybe about the house. Um, in this case, right now it says house listing, which is the name of the page he gave it. And then helping people go from, I want this house to, I have this house. Um, maybe that's exactly what he wants to leave it as. Maybe he wants to adjust that. If you click on that section, Bo, what happens? There we go. Now we can make the adjustment on the left-hand side. But go down one more section, Bo. Let's get to another part that has to be changed, and that is the form where it says learn more today. Why I say this has to be changed is this. Um, scroll down to the bottom here on the left-hand side in there, and look at what it says on the button text. It says learn more. What does the button action say, Bo? No action. Oh no, we can't let that be. We have to make it do something. All the buttons, you need to make them do something. Sometimes you might want it to redirect to a URL, maybe an MLS listing, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> or maybe, um, maybe you want it to call you at two o'clock in the morning, maybe not. How about emailing you or sending out a PDF? What if you have a beautiful PDF that could be sent out if somebody says that they wanna learn more today? That could be awesome. Or like I said, there's a few different options here. Easiest one for now would be to say email and put in your email address. I'll bet you know how to spell that. I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, underneath that, do you see where it says GDPR compliance? Do you know what that means? Yeah. Do you have any clue? I don't. Susan, what does GDPR stand for? Do you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> All I know is I always check the box. There's certain countries and states that require you to tell people that you might use their email address, that you're not simply collecting email addresses, that you might actually contact them. So make it easy for them. Make sure that you're compliant. I include GDPRs under all of my forms in every chance I have possible. So not required, unless you work with me, then it's required. <laughs> okay, so you've done a good job. Bo, click on the next thing underneath, the General Data Protection Regulation. There you go, thank you. EU law, I think California is also has a similar law. Thank you, Tammy. Bo, go ahead and click on that little for sale sign in the circle now. And I, I'm hoping you didn't save actually. Yep, you didn't save. And it pops up and tells you, you have to save. Folks, you can't break the system. I mean, really, it thinks for you, it's so good. So he's gonna save it now. And he's got his form set up. And now in the form, he could put a subheading. What we'd really like you to do is say something like, I'm gonna give you something. Instead of just learn more today, hey, click here for 10 house buying tips you need to know today. You know, give them a reason to, to, to exchange their information with you. And then of course, make sure you deliver on that reason. But right under here, let's go to the next section, which is his section, his name. Again, click on that and his name pops up. Um, lots of different ideas on whether or not people want to keep their email address or not. You can change all of that here. Again, Shakopee isn't the only place he works, but he probably doesn't want to say global because he probably can't st sell stuff in India yet. Well, maybe he can. I'm not sure. <laughs> not yet. Okay. So, um, and then there's a little section in here actually where it says Twin Cities where he could put a bio, where he could type a sentence saying, you know, talking about himself, his experience, how long he's done this, how many houses he's sold, or maybe something more personal, like, you know, because I have a family, I love working with families, or some little bit of more of a bio in, can go into this section as well. And all of my pages, I do include a one to two sentence bio if possible. Um, scrolling down, oh, and then of course, what did we say we wanna do with all of these? We want to brand you. So Bo, would you put in EXP in this photo or would you put a picture of your smiley face? Suppose this one I can put my face here. You can. <laughs> Go ahead and put your face there. All right. So, I think we've gotten down into some other stuff. Scroll up and oh, there. change image. There you go. So now again, now to do this, you don't maybe see it, but you're going to click on the sign, the picture that's there right now. Just click on it. And now it offers you the opportunity to switch and put your photo in. I actually moved, because I've created so many of these sites, I actually made it much more convenient to get to my photo. <laughs> so it's much easier for me to upload my photo on all my stuff. There you go, great photo. Hit enter and again, you can slide this around a little bit to make sure that you get the part of your face that you want. There you go. That well, probably looks a little better than cutting your forehead off. And <laughs> select. And beautiful. Is this easy? This is this is pretty easy. Okay. And again, you can make little tweaks and, and things throughout here, but scroll down a little bit more. There's some photos here. Did you sell any of these houses? No? Yes? Okay. Nope. You could put your own photos in here. You can easily adapt this to put in your upload and change these photos. You can add to them. There's three right now. You can put in 20. If you were to visit my coffee website, you would find I picked every single coffee photo that I could find in the system and put it into this little part. And below it, what do we have underneath there? What's it called? It's a form. Oh, he didn't save his changes. Yay. Didn't save it. <laughs> It says, fine, you can still go save it. You're good. Now change the next form. Most of these websites, I think all of them, come up with two forms. You have to tell the button what to do on both forms. The GDPR thing, well, because Bo works with me, <laughs> it's required. <laughs> um, but again, here you can adjust what you're saying. You have questions, we have answers. Um, you know, how you want that to come across. You can change background colors. There's a lot of that you can do with these. 
but there's a lot you don't have to do with these. So keeping it simple, we're almost down to the bottom of the page. And now he has a very functional website. We're gonna click on that bottom section after saving. Thank you. And again, now here he can click on the logo here. If you actually click on it and click on the upload image in the left hand, there you go. Now, which picture are you gonna put there? EXP? Yeah, that one's gonna be the EXP one. That's what I figured. Something about regulations, rules. Yeah, maybe something. No, something <laughs> about that. Uh, and then again, at the bottom, it defaults with his address. Um, he may or may not want his personal address on there. He could take that off on a website. It's not required to be at the bottom. Um, and the easiest way to take that off is to unclick the button on the left that says address column, unclick the show, and it just instantly disappears. His connect information is still there. And if you scroll down, he can add a social column on here as well by clicking that and entering in his social media where people could follow him. If you don't enter anything into here right now, it won't let him save though. Again, the system is so smart, it actually thinks for him. And now go ahead and hit save and exit. Oh, that's because you have the social column. Thank you. Thanks for making another mistake to help me. Hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making plenty of mistakes, it's not, it looks like. No, you're doing great. There we great. go, save. <laughs> you're doing great. And, but you are not an expert at this stuff, but in just a few minutes, you have created a very functional landing page. Robert, do you want to chime in here? Do you have anything else you'd want to share with Bo? It's uh, the one of the main things are the keywords that really drives what your social posts are. So you do want to go in and clean that up. Like for real estate people, they have lots of stuff in there about mortgages, different things along those lines. And you maybe want to X them out. But uh, the closer you get to what your business is, the greater or the better your social post will be. Absolutely. So that's on the very top on the left side in the editing um, section. Scroll up to the top, click on the, um, uh, actually click on the house. There you go. And go down to keywords. This is the area that Robert's talking about. So that's what he's saying. It already populated a whole bunch of keywords, but it's only going to really focus on 10. So how to buy a house tips probably is a really good thing for you to keep in, but you know, it's up to you. But maybe the mortgage rates how to isn't so much relevant. So you can actually exclude, um, you could exclude all of these. You could create your own 10, but what AI is doing here, AI, artificial intelligence, is they know that these are things that people search for. People type in, buy house how-to tips, because they didn't learn English, um, <laughs> into Google. But when they do, this is, improves the likelihood that Bo's website will be found. Residential real estate trends, people search for that. Bo's website would be there if he keeps that one in. So Bo, you want to actually, you will want to delete many of these because it does only allow, as you see in the bright red, um, 10 key words are allowed. Um, if he hadn't opened up the section, <laughs> it wouldn't be um, demanding that he make changes, but he also wouldn't be getting this targeted. Um, sometimes I do go in and I just create from scratch too. But I've been, you know, I just do stuff like that. That's just me. You do not have to. Remember, you do not have to become experts at this stuff. But we have done a really good job of creating a brand new website, Bo's third three-click marketing website. And now starting tomorrow, when he goes into his marketing pages, he will have two suggested posts for all three websites. So six suggested posts, two for each that he can put wherever he wants to put um, on his social media. And he can keep making adjustments here. For now, Bo, let's go ahead and say, uh, Robert, anything else you want to add? All right, go ahead and hit save and exit, Bo. And just to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen quickly. Thanks so much for sharing, I appreciate it.
No problem. Thank you. The recording. <laughs> and I'm going to go back into my back office just to show a few other things. And anybody at this point, jump in, ask questions if you want to see something different. Um, this would be a great time to do it. Um, I wanted to show my websites. Um, again, as quickly as you saw, Bo did that the other day I did. And literally I created maybe 10 websites in just a couple of hours. And what I'm doing is I'm actually replacing uh, my GoDaddy website with a bunch of landing pages at this time. And then they're all just connected to each other. So in, for instance, I created a coaches page um, and you might recognize a face on here. She ha does not know that this is here, but on my coaches page, it says Joyminder Consulting, curated coaches. What is a curated coach? Stay accountable. I'm promoting now site life coaching, which is great. Listen to leaders with healthy, wealthy, and wise podcast. Anybody know who that is? Uh-huh. Um, check your mindset coach, move forward faster. So all of these coaches are now on one of these pages, which is linked to my main website, which is, uh, you know, lots and lots of pages that I've created for my website. Again, you can hire somebody to do this for you, by the way. Anybody know anybody for hire doing this kind of stuff? Just curious. Um, um, if and you I need it. somebody, I can do it. I can do some of this. And then um, Kathy Barrow actually builds them too. Yep. And I know Luke is here or was here and he can do that as well. Uh, let's see. I mentioned adding the post to your website. Does this have to be the pages built with this product or could you put them on the main site? I build them also. Okay, Richard, great. So when you say yes to putting them on the, adding the post to your website, it does go to the website that that ad or that uh, article was picked for. So if I picked an article that was designated for Joyminder Consulting, it's gonna go onto the Joyminder Consulting webpage. If I pick the, the suggested post for coffee, it's gonna go on my coffee page. So if you want to put them out onto other sites, Hello? you probably have to um, copy um, URLs and it would be a lot more complicated. I'm sure you could figure it out, Richard, but the automation happens within, these, within this integrated system. Great question. Leanne, real basic question. Yeah, Mary, go ahead. What is the, what is the difference then between a landing page and a website? Okay, great question. Honestly, they're calling them websites right now um, because essentially if you've ever been to a website that only has one page, it's still a website. These are websites because they're just, they can't, they're long form single page websites at this time. This morning I was on the call with our awesome CEO and he said that a, the ability to have multiple tabs on the same page slash website is coming really soon. So that's kind of why I went ahead and created a whole bunch of pages. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to integrate them. If not, I'll deal with it. And if so, um, it should be really, really quick and simple. But if not, sometimes when I'm talking to a person and I'm like, you know what, I know something that could really help you. I want to send them to that page. I don't want to send them through the beginning to get to that page, right? So that's the beauty of a landing page too. And unlimited landing pages means I can always send people exactly where I want them to go. Oh, you want to start a business um, owning a rideshare company? Here, let me show you a page. And they don't have to look at all the other options that I have available for them. They can go directly to that page. Does that help, that Hester? Yes, that makes sense. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, Scrolling through the other comments and we have another one, multiple, multiple has multiple calls of action. So that's another thing we didn't really get to, but let me show you a page here, why I love my coffee. And there's so much more that you can add to these pages. So you start with, a, again, I shorten, this is what it looks like when I take out some of the padding. So the picture isn't quite as big. Now I can see the subject of my page right 
beneath it. My coffee changed my life. Well, gee, I'm hoping that's at least enough to get them to scroll down another inch or two. Oh, here's my story. And then I put in a, a, a video. I recorded this video on my iPhone, um, uploaded it into YouTube, and then um, just copied the link and pasted it here. Really, really simple. Um, honestly, even uploading it to YouTube, you might think, oh, that's hard. It's not. It's a click of a button. Um, I'm happy to, at some point, we can maybe do a training around that. But then it says, visit my coffee shop online. Look, I'll let people go to my coffee shop for free all day long, but why not ask them to sign in first? Then I can follow up with them and say, hey, what was your experience? What did you like? What are you interested in? Or maybe give them a coupon. Um, but if they scroll down, now they can hear from an expert about what makes this coffee special. And then, ha, look, they can go visit my coffee, my virtual coffee shop for free. <laughs> I eventually let them, but why not try first? And um, again, this is where I picked all those coffee photos, every one that I could find, I put into here. Oh, I actually did on the other, I have two coffee sites, so I did it on the other one. And then you have questions, we have answers, and my connect information at the bottom. So you can do all sorts of things with these. There's so much you can do to create these and make them um, unique to you. A video is fantastic. Please, please, please consider learning and, out and figuring out how to put video into your, your websites. Your conversion is gonna be fantastic. People buy you, not your products, not your services. And if you have video of you talking about your passion, about what you do, it's always, always going to improve your conversion. Um, so we can add a lot more to that landing page yep. than, than like what you guys yeah. just did. Yeah. And it, but it will still only be one page? Yeah, for now, for now. So okay. here's, here's a page I haven't actually launched yet because I'm still waiting to work through some logistics, but let's go here. And if I click on edit website, so here's another real estate page, right? Working from home, getting started in real estate, getting started in real estate, learn more today. This is a very generic page. I don't even have my name, my picture, my picture on here or anything yet. But over here are all the things that I could add into it. So if I wanted to add another headline in, I could do that right here. Oops, I didn't mean to put that there. I just delete it. I can put in a feature block. These are really cool. I've been doing a lot of these where now I can put in a photo. I'm gonna pick real estate, of course. And I'm gonna pick a beach photo because that's where I really wanna be. And then, so the photo appears, and then I'm gonna put beach side property uh, for sale. And it looks like that. How easy was that? <laughs> oh no, I put it in the wrong place. No problem. I just grab it and drag it and now it's where I want it. So it's really, and then again, you can go into style, you can customize things so much, how you want things placed, do you want them centered, left, right, how much padding do you want, um, so forth like this. And then we'll, oops, get out of here. Um, what else, if you wanted to put a map, you're in sales, you're in uh, real estate, might be a great reason to put in a map. So you'd put in a map. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. And here's your map. So over here, you can put in a heading, you can put in a subheading, and you probably want to put in a location. Good idea. And then the map will show that. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a lot you can add to these things. So I hit cancel on that one. Another large image, a video, customer form. We already have two, probably don't need a third, but hey, whatever. A button, if you just wanted to put a button, I use a lot of buttons in my pages to go to other pages. Um, a lot of these things, you can add a button anyway. Let's look at this, this beachside property. Let's say I wanted to have a whole page just for that beachside property. I could create a button. It just created a button and I can say visit now on that button and then tell it to redirect to a URL and put the landing page for that property into this button URL. Or I can have it call me or email me or download a PDF or whatever. 
And in this case, since I'm going to do none of that, I'm just going to remove the button. I talked through that really fast, but it's not breakable. It's that simple <laughs> in many ways. So don't be afraid of this software. Just if you go through it systematically, it's, it's really pretty clear. And if you make a mistake, it's going to tell you or it's going to correct you. And if you get stuck, remember this. We're going to close out here. It's, eight, it's 320. Do you see this little bubble? Lower right hand corner. When I click on that bubble and I'm in my back office, this is what pops up. You do not have to wait until two o'clock next Tuesday to get on a live call with Leanne. You can right here start a conversation by sending a message. Your usual reply is under two hours, but what if you really just have time to do it now? And it's norm during pretty much normal hours. Live video support right there. You click on start call and a Zoom window is going to pop up. You may have to wait a few minutes until it's your turn, but they're going to give you 15 minutes of undivided attention to answer whatever questions you have. My only suggestion with that is be in your back office already. Get logged into stuff. If you're going to ask questions about social media, don't wait to log into your social media until you get them on the phone. Do it in advance or while you're waiting. But be ready to ask your questions and they will help you know where to put this stuff. Oh, I really want my LinkedIn profile. I don't know how to do it. They will walk you through step by step, one on one. The support in this company is so off the hook. We've talked about the money. We've talked about the simplicity of having an integrated system. But my number one criteria for working with tech products like this is always customer service. It's why I was really loyal to HubSpot for many, many, many years because their customer service really is really good and it's still not this good. They don't have live video support. So this is just a step above everything pretty much in every way. Training and resources is also here. You can always go check out the videos that are already out there, put out by the company. Um, so here you can go to your quick start videos, how to make a website, everything that we just covered, it's there. It's a quick video. It doesn't have all the back and forth and some of the extra stuff that I put into these uh, recordings, but how to create an email campaign, how to make an ad, how to make a social post. It's all right here. On top of it, if you scroll down, here's your Zoom support hours, Eastern Standard Time. They do close the Zoom support about half an hour early, um, <laughs> probably just so they could get a chance to get their heads back together. And then um, there's more information here. And then the training calendar right at the bottom. You wanna go on another training and you have time um, you can look through here and say, oh, wow, they, they have a training coming up and you can check on them here. Our trainings like this are not on this calendar. If you're joining in with us, you're part of the Kofi team or the Joyminder team. Um, our trainings are not on here. We do have our own pages where we're listing resources, but one of the resources we list is this one <laughs> because there's so much that they do here in terms of um, helping people get started and knowing what they're doing. So any last minute questions before we uh, close out here? I'm willing to take that now, or otherwise I would really like to thank you all for being here. I see one more chat. Um, thank you. Each time I'm on a call, I learn something more to implement and share with others. Thank you, Wilma. I appreciate that. And I love doing this. Again, I said it before, this is not, doing what I'm doing here is nothing that you would ever have to do unless you really like to. <laughs> Lisa, I see, is on here. She's like, I like to, I want to. Alice, I know. Alice and Lisa, you can see their faces here. They both have calls coming up. Lisa is going to be featuring, doing this call tomorrow, uh, Friday at 1130. I will be there with her as her co-host. Really excited about that. Alice is going to be tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central time, may I add. 11 a.m. Central Lisa's 11.30 Central Time on Friday. 
I uh, Lois Kofi will be doing this presentation at 6 p.m. Central Time on Thursday. And we have one on Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Time. So we have, we've now got Tuesday through Saturday covered with one of these every single day for you to check in, ask for help if you want to work with somebody that's on your team, has your back, wants you to succeed, because we truly, truly do. Our heart is for small business. So with that, I'm gonna close this out and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.